As finance YouTubers chase fame and fortune, they often make bold predictions and recommendations to their audience, many of whom lack financial knowledge. Hidden beneath their helpful appearance lies a web of danger, suspense, and controversy. Today's sponsor, FTX. Make sure you do it with FTX US. This video is brought to you by FTX. Sponsor, they're called FTX US. And we all know how it went. These YouTubers, or so-called gurus, made hundreds of thousands of dollars from ad revenue of $522,000 a month of just YouTube ad revenue. Sponsorships, brand deals, affiliate links, and courses. But what did you get? In search of a good return on your stock in crypto, seeking a better life or early retirement, all you got were recommendations filled with scams, fraud, in their own selfish interests. Sam Bankman Freed. Crypto King Sam Bankman Freed. Bankman Freed and his co-conspirators. Crypto King Sam Bankman Freed. Arrested in the Bahamas on Monday. Extradited from the Bahamas on a series of fraud charges in connection to his company FTX. He stole billions of dollars from FTX customers. To FTX, he's been charged with eight counts of fraud, money laundering, and other financial crimes. The majority of stocks recommended by these influencers underperformed, leaving their trusting viewers with an average return of negative 53%. This is not financial advice, is a term you probably get familiar with after watching these YouTubers. It's to protect them from any form of legal trouble, but they mask their true intentions under the very statement. This disclaimer is either used at the beginning or the end of the video. After 15 minutes of the video saying why the housing market will crash and these are the stocks that are recession proof, you get slapped with a, this is not financial advice. Now, as a viewer, your whole purpose for watching the video was to get information and make a decision about your financial investment. You see, we as viewers have little to no knowledge about finance and cannot identify whether this stock will be 10 times in the next five years or this crypto will be 10 times. So when a finance YouTuber says they will be investing in this X stock for the current market condition, we follow the same footsteps even after that disclaimer. After all, how can they be wrong, right? Now, I'm not saying all of this advice is necessarily bad. Some do provide really good value from their videos, like The Plain Bagel or How Money Works. But like a lone soldier on a battlefield cannot turn the tide of war, similarly, a few handfuls of well-intended YouTubers cannot change the current state of personal finance. On July 1st, 2021, TechLead, a YouTuber with more than 1 million subscribers, whose channel was originally about coding and later turned into a mixed coding investment channel, launched a token called Million Token, promising everyone who would get in early would get rich, as every token is backed by his own money. He promoted this token through his YouTube channel's massive audience. The result? The price shot up to $40, a coin from $1. However, the euphoria was short-lived, and by the morning of July 4th, the price had started to collapse, going down to just $2, leaving the investors in ruin. This was a clear pump and dump, but disguised under this is not financial advice. There are countless others who scam people in this bull market using these illegal activities. Save the Kids, Kim Kardashian's Ethereum Max, Ben Phillips' Safe Moon, Logan Paul's CryptoZoo are some crypto tokens that scam people through pure pump and dump. But these tokens do not even come close to the level of destruction finance YouTubers have done by promoting crypto exchanges. The fall of FTX, Celsius, BlockFi, and Voyager has cumulatively destroyed $18 billion of deposits that got locked overnight, and the crypto market lost around $152 billion in a single day. FTX paid millions to these people to promote their exchange in their videos. A small 10 second promotion saying, Don't forget to grab your free stocks. Links are down below. Free stock with all the way up to $1,000 down below in the description with the code GRAM when you make a deposit was all it needed. They made sure to include this promo shamelessly in every video they published, putting the ad right at the perfect time when the video gets most interesting to grab your attention. You may not agree to check it out the first time, but you will check it out the 10th time for the free X amount of crypto. 
and they know this human psychology too. Link in the description. Yes, that's all it needed. It was easy money, but again, all under this is not financial advice and get all legal trouble to go away with one sentence. Now, in their defense, one might say they did not have the company financials to know about the company's current state, as it is a private company. But one thing we need to understand is that we follow these YouTubers for the betterment of our own personal financial conditions, not just to make these guys rich. But the current YouTube finance space state says otherwise. My profit from FTX, probably somewhere around 225k, is supposed to be closer to 300. They will try to defend themselves by saying they are on the same bus as they lost their money too, but won't ever reveal that they made more than that through the promotions. If you are promoting something to a massive audience and on a topic that is so sensitive and important to people, then at least take some time out to analyze it. Do not just blatantly promote something that you have no idea about. Graham Stefan, one of the most famous creators in this space, came up with his response 18 days after FTX collapsed. But in the coming few days, withdrawals were eventually frozen and they filed for bankruptcy. Since that moment, I felt misled alongside with everybody else and I genuinely had no clue that any of this was going on behind the scenes. And it makes me sick to think that I put my trust in this company. Giving his reasoning for the situation, but by going through the comment section, you will realize people weren't satisfied. The video from Andre Jick was even more criticized. People couldn't even watch through the entire video. So, in a desperate attempt, he had to put the timestamp of his response in the comment section. But it turns out this, this is not financial advice, is not actually any form of shield from legal troubles. Fortunately for us, and unfortunately for them, this list of YouTubers is now collectively sued for a massive $1 billion. The lawsuit states FTX could not have risen to such great heights without the massive impact of these influencers, who hyped the deceptive FTX platform for undisclosed payments ranging from tens of thousands of dollars to multi-million dollar bribes. Following the collapse of FTX, several of the lawsuit's defendants scrubbed their YouTube channels of all video clips endorsing FTX and replaced them with apology videos. CoffeeZilla, the internet detective, confronted Meet Kevin in his video, and this is what he said. Individually, I've always said, look, crypto is extremely speculative and that it should represent a tiny portion of your portfolio, if anything at all. On top of that, it's also incumbent upon the individual to take some responsibility. If I say, hey, go to, uh, you know, Silicon Valley Bank and get a loan and you're like, hey, I get a loan here, I get all these benefits. Ultimately, you take that risk. So it is incumbent upon the individual to take responsibility as well. Yes, we individuals should have the responsibility for our investments, but we as individuals rely on these finance YouTubers for making rational decisions. The whole point of these channels existing is to give financial advice, to help people with their investments and educate the people, not to promote scammy products for their own benefit. They probably do not have the slightest care for their viewers. As soon after FTX, they went for Masterworks. But first, I want to thank today's sponsor, Masterworks. And I reached out to the only platform I trust investing in art, which is Masterworks. And luckily, our sponsor, Masterworks, allows you to buy fractional shares of paintings. And before we keep going here, we got to talk about Masterworks. Another similar investment platform filled with ifs and buts, presented as if it is the investment heaven for the viewers. Even many termed it as a scam. The formula is simple. Make a clickbait thumbnail and title saying with bold claims and predictions, the worst economic collapse is coming, or this is the end of China, and lure in the people, after which you get to promote all this stuff. But they are not scared, and why should they be? As controversies bring them more views, and more views equate to more ad revenue from YouTube. Sure, people might hate them for their selfish acts, but people forget too soon. Their views are getting higher and higher every day, and they are gaining more and more subscribers. So where is the issue? It won't change as long as you don't change. You, as a viewer, have the power to make a difference. The responsibility is on us to thoroughly research any advice or product promoted on these channels. 
It's essential to understand that their ultimate goal is to entertain and attract views, while providing financial information may be secondary. We need to recognize that not all finance YouTubers are malicious or intentionally misleading their audience. However, it's crucial to maintain a healthy skepticism and not take everything they say at face value. Always remember to do your own research, consult with a professional financial advisor, and make informed decisions about your investments. It's time to say enough is enough and take back control over financial futures. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel as more videos are in production.